Okay, so that looks kind of cool. <clears throat> And control S for save. And I'm going to go right click on that layer, go copy layer style, go to the next layer, paste layer style, go to the next layer, paste layer style, go to the next layer, paste layer style. I'm going to vary it a little bit though. Like on this, I could actually do kind of the opposite. All right, and that's looking decent. Save on that. And I'm going to create a new layer. And I'm going to go into my brush tools and add some fractal brushes. Now, <clears throat> you want to get some great brushes. There's a bunch on deviantart.com. There's also a lot of great brushes on brusheasy.com. So if you're looking for some pretty badass brushes, those are some good places to start. Okay, not finding exactly what I want, but that's okay. Not exactly what I was looking for, but I can probably still use this for something. I'm going to just throw this behind the titles, create kind of a cool effect. Let's, uh, I don't know, try it in red to begin with. Stick it behind the text layers. And increase the opacity, of course. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Go image adjust, hue and saturation. I think that looks kind of okay. Um, let me go ahead and add a bevel to that. So yeah, just mess around with that till you see something you like. you're going to do is duplicate that. And set this one for overlay. And then change up the bevel on the one beneath. These titles, we have to have something to make them pop again. So we can use a drop shadow, or we can just go and use a stroke.
think that drop shadow looks all right. All right, so now we got the shadows on all these. <clears throat> I'm gonna save that. this layer I'm going to merge the two of these by hitting control E copy that and I'm gonna bring it over here and we're just gonna bring the opacity down percent same thing for this one On this we have a little bit too much of the dark so I'm gonna bring that back a little bit same thing on this guy just a little bit too much shadow If you just go ahead and duplicate these layers and change the top one, the blend mode, to vivid light, it kind of just makes them pop. 